Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today we're going to be taking a look at these. Or at least you're going to be taking a look at them. I'm going to be taking a look through them. <laughs> yes, these are the Vitua XR glasses. And what, what does XR mean? I had to look it up as well. VR is virtual reality. AR is augmented reality. XR is an umbrella term for mixed re- Oh, damn it, no. It's an umbrella term for extended reality. And it basically includes VR, AR. It's, it's, it's a nondescript term. Um, let me just tell you what these do. From the front, these look like relatively normal sunglasses, except maybe particularly dark. Uh, but from the back, you'll see that these are chunky, chunky, chunk, 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 and there's a good reason for it. These glasses actually have tiny little screens in the top that then project down and allow you to view a screen as though it were just in front of you through the magic of reflection. So the basic idea is you wang these things on and then in front of you is a screen. It kind of projects a screen. It's not really projection, I don't think, in the technical sense. Maybe it is, I don't know. But either way, you can then see whatever is plugged into it in front of you. And yes, you plug things into it. Well then, using this USB-C to Whatever the hell this is, it's technically USB as well, but it looks funky. You can connect this to whatever your heart desires. You plug it in, and then you will see it as though it were in front of you. That's how it works. And most importantly, it works with Switch, otherwise, frankly, we wouldn't be talking about it. Using this thing here, which is a combined power bank and dock for the Switch, you can, yeah, you can plug this in, so you plug the... I'll show you. You plug your Switch into the dock, you plug it in like this, and you plug it in like that, and then the Switch will think it's docked. Well, yeah, look, it shows the power charging thing, it thinks it's docked, it's magic! And then, on one of the glasses ports, you plug the glasses in, and, my friend, you are playing docked switch on some glasses. <laughs> um, I don't think it's on. It's on now. Ooh, it's an image. You can also get this bracket, um, which they sent to me as well, alongside the glasses and the dock and something else which you'll see in a moment. And the idea is, is that their mobile dock goes in one side, your switch goes in the other, and I don't use it because <laughs> um, there's these like, it's a good idea in theory, this bracket, because it keeps it all contained, but there are these like sort of crosses on the back, these raised paths, and that's to allow some airflow because the switch needs to breathe. However, they are hard plastic. And I know the Switch OLED has like a, a metal back, but even so, I, I don't want to be I don't want to be scratching the back of my Switchy boy. But I mentioned this to the manufacturers, and they were like, "That's a very good point. We're gonna change it." Um, I suggested rubber, like rubber little crosses, and I don't know if that's what they're gonna do. But you know, they they acknowledged. They you know they acknowledged. Which is nice of them. The dock also has a second port as well for another pair of glasses, so you can share that with someone, but you will both be looking like this. Now, you might be thinking, Alex, this is all a little ridiculous, and frankly, they make you look a little ridiculous as well. I mean, not tremendously, at a glance, you know, no one's gonna think twice, but if you, yeah, th these are, these are chunky arms. And anyone who gets close will be able to see that these are not normal sunglasses, but, are they any good? That's the important thing, you know, is 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 it any good? And frankly, yeah, they're really, really nice. I was honestly skeptical when they offered to send these over. I was like, ah, nah, and you know, I, I just ignored it at first, but then I thought, you know what? It's so ludicrous, it may actually be a bit of a laugh, and it turned out to, to actually be quite good, <laughs> which, I'll, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting the clarity of the image is way higher than I thought. Like, when you actually look at the size of the screens that are doing the projecting, I mean, I say screens, I mean, they essentially are. Let's get away from pedantics. The screens are minuscule. Like, I, I kind of want to measure them, but I don't have a tape measure. Oh, I'll tell you what's better than measuring. Equivalents. These are slightly larger lengthwise than a micro SD card. <laughs> um, Bloody hell. And so you're probably thinking, oh, is it some sort of horrible sort of rubbish resolution then? Like, that massive thing I looked at that was terrible. Or is it 720p or something like that? No. No, honestly, it's full 
1080p. And all the marketing that they have say it's like having a like a 100 or 101 inch TV di projected directly in front of you, which um, I mean, I suppose you could make that argument, but it all depends on how far away you are from a 101 inch screen. You know, I mean, like, I've, I've tried these on and I looked at them compared to one of my monitors here, like this one, which is showing a lovely image. And from this distance, which is my normal working distance, which probably isn't ideal, it was roughly the same size as this 24 inch monitor from however far away that is. Arms reach! More equivalents! So it's not like it's like filling your entire vision or anything like that, but frankly, I, I, I'm not even sure I'd want that. You know, they're making all these claims and I understand, but the reality is you get, uh, I mean, I'll tell you what, why don't I, what, why don't I, more equivalents! Right, so I'm wearing them now and I suppose the clearest way I can say is it's sort of that big, like, that. It's, it's like, yeah, like that. It's taking up that much of my vision, which, I mean, that, 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 that should be about what you expect. I don't know how that looks, because I couldn't see because I was looking at these. Alex, get to the point. The point is, it's like playing on a reasonably big TV. And as I said, they are good. I expected the quality to be a bit funny or there to be some like really weird rainbowing or something like that. But overall, the image clarity after, you know, fiddling and things like that, and they do have little wheels with which you can adjust the focus. I think it's physical, but I'm not 100% sure. The image quality when you're using them is, frankly, far better than I ever anticipated. And that's not saying, oh, it's quite good for glasses that close. No, it is. It is a high quality image. It's really good. And I've tried all sorts. You know, I've, I've tried Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I even played uh, 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 Elite Smash and won with the so, uh, there's, there's your sales pitch right there. Metroid Prime Remastered, Neon White. Um, I've also tried a load of like the uh, the NSO, like Switch Online games, and they all look frankly fantastic. I've also tried it on my Steam Deck, and yeah, again, the same thing. Also simpler with the Steam Deck, you can just plug it straight in, like ba bump no dock required. There is some light blurring at the edges, and well, all of this is really difficult to describe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mock it up for you, okay? Now, this is not going to be one-to-one -one or anything like that, but using the best of my abilities, I'm going to show you what it is like to use this this pair of glasses, like superimposing stuff over the top, just to give you as best an idea as I can. Hopefully, that helped. As I said though, there is some blur on the edges, and it really is only the far edges. And I don't know how much of that is the glasses and how much of that is my eyes, because I can't look through someone else's eyes in order to compare. And I've I've given it to other people and that sort of thing, and they've put it on, they've just gone, wow, this is really cool. B but you know, I, I don't know. I, no one's looking at, I, can't, I need my analytical brain looking through someone else's eyes. And that's not, feasible. You can also get this lens cover. This is the other thing they sent me, which you can slap over the top. Is it a lens cover? I don't even know, but you stick those on and uh, now you, you don't have light blooming in from around you, which is kind of a thing that happens with these. And sometimes I've actually found it difficult to focus on the screen because my brain's trying to focus on reality behind it. But you know, this fixes it entirely. Nice. You can also get some prescription lens things that go on the front, which I don't have because I don't need glasses. But you know, they kind of thought of a lot of stuff. There's also various different like nose bridge things. And this is actually the, the lowest one that they do. For some reason, my nose is big enough for me to require the zero with some little bumper things as well. But you know, it's good. But what I'm sure many people have been screaming in the comments without reaching this point in the video have been saying, Alex, what's the point? <laughs> and 
It is a valid question. It is a genuinely valid question. If you were using these in theory with something that didn't have a screen and this was your screen, Bingo Bango, yeah, fantastic is a great way to use it portably. But there aren't many devices that fall into that category. You're not, for example, going to be taking like an Xbox Series S or something out and about with you, or maybe you are, but even so, that's going to be a fringe case. You're going to be using something portable, like the Switch, and obviously that's what we're focusing on because, uh, have you seen the name of the channel? And as lovely and as clear as the image is and as comfy as these are to wear for long periods of time, minor eye strain after a few hours, I've noticed, but again, it's my eyes, you know. Everyone's eyes are, are different. The Switch has a screen. <laughs> you can use these when out and about, and I've done that. You know, I did it on the train, and honestly, it was great. A little bit sort of clustery with having the things all sort of like laying on the little fold-out table, but honestly, the experience of using these, yeah, it, it, it was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I looked like an absolute pillock, I'm sure, but you know, it's, it's, it's a price you pay when you wear glasses that look like this. But I would be remiss if I didn't point out that I could have just used the Switch's OLED screen, and as a result, it makes these... I, they're not... They, they, they are very good at what they do. Do not get me wrong, they are very good, and I like using them a lot. But they are absolutely not a necessity. Like, these are a luxury through and through. Like, I mean, you could make the argument that the Switch is a luxury, these even more so. They're a luxury for a luxury. There are cases where these would absolutely be preferable. For example, if you're traveling a lot or something like that and you, you know, you're going to be jumping from hotel room to hotel room and you want to be able to relax with a nice big screen, as it were, and, you know, you're not sure whether the TV, if there's even going to be a TV in the hotel or something like that, or, you know, you're on the train or you're just lying in bed or something like that, you know, lying, lying, lying lying down then you may well want to use these but at the same time all of those instances you can still use the screen there is one instance however where it is absolutely not even preferable but the screen the switch's screen is not even really an option and that's when it's very sunny in the summer naturally i haven't been able to test that because it's not the summer here in the united kingdom but i uh, you know I, I have a garden now and i want to be able to spend time out there just lounging around in the sun under a parasol because i do, i burn quite easily can you tell and i want to play video games but you know i'm you know laying down in a sun lounger where it's comfiest and you know i can hold the switch up like that but that's not tremendously comfortable okay so i, I sit up right instead and i have it down there but there's still even under a parasol so much light around me that i can't reasonably see the screen i'm squinting i'm trying to see and i, I probably want to wear sunglasses myself because of how bright it is it doesn't happen i can't do it i've tried and I'm able to do it for 10 minutes or something, and then I'm just like, this isn't worth it. And I retire to doing something boring, like reading a book. But these, with the actual covers, like, I have shone, like, these big old bright lights on myself, and I have tested it. They don't go through because it's literal opaque plastic. And so I can scree- I can- I can scree the screen. I can scree the screen. I can see the screen perfectly well. And it is absolutely excellent. It is a fringe case. It absolutely is. And frankly, the price of entry for these things is also very, very high. These are... I'm going to have to check. Everything that I've shown in this video, so the glasses, the lens shade, and obviously the glasses of the lion's share, and the mobile dock, it comes to $577. Yeah, these aren't cheap. And honestly, I can see why. These are very, very high quality, low latency, I want to point out, screens with great color balancing. I mean, the reds are a little bit oversaturated, but frankly, that just seems to be the way that screens are going these days. The optics, the manufacturing, the, the robustness, and they do feel robust as well. The speakers, I didn't even mention the speakers. There's little speakers on the arms and everything. So they're right above your ears. They're not bone conduction or anything like that. And you know what? They sound pretty good overall. They're, they're lacking a little bit in bass, but it's perfectly reasonable for out and about. They're honestly, Honestly, way better than I anticipated. I thought they were going to sound awful. But you know what? They sound all right. I can see. I can see why these cost as much as they do. But at the same time, you can't deny that it's a lot of money. Whichever way you slice it. This is more expensive than a Switch. Which... <laughs> it makes them a little bit of a hard sell, to be honest. I mean, if you've got the money and you look at these and you think... 
those are fantastic. You know, sort of, but are they going to be up to quality? Absolutely. I can say that they are. They are high quality, lovely looking things, comfortable for reasonably long periods of time. And that doesn't even come down to the arms and stuff. It's just eye strain. You're focusing on something very close. And even with the optics and everything, long periods of time, you're going to get a little bit of eye strain. That's just part and parcel. But if you've got the money and you want a pair of glasses like this, yeah, I can say without a shadow of a doubt, these are worth it. However, for pretty much everyone else, if you're sort of, if you've never even seen something like this before and you're not completely enamored with the idea, it's a much harder sell. They are expensive, they are, and I know why they're expensive, and they are good, and they do their job very well, what they set out to do, fantastic. But the matter, the, the, the nub of the matter is, these are a niche device. They're niche. For most people, you may not get your money's worth out of them. But if cash isn't a problem or you get them sent to you for free on YouTube, Two thumbs up, baby! I honestly don't think I felt more conflicted about a piece of technology that we've looked at on this channel, but you know, I've got to be honest. And honest is as honest does. Good if you can afford them and you have the use for them. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you slap two very tiny but lovely high quality screens on that subscribe button and be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>